All aboard the struggle bus. <laughs> hey guys, it's Haradakan. If I'm not already beating the dead horse of I can't get Akina downhill, QQ. I wanted to beat that dead horse some more and more deeply explore the concept of struggling in the face of failure towards improvement. And perfect for this theme, I am going to be narrating over many of my failed Akina downhill runs. This is just an estimate, but I'm fairly sure I've put in close to 30 hours of gameplay on Akina Downhill alone, without getting specialist. Just failure, after failure, after failure. Akina Downhill is by far the course where I've struggled with the most so far when it comes to getting specialist. Fun fact, back when I played D8 on Cabinet, Akina Downhill was one of the courses I had the most problems with as well. It took me about 60 attempts to get Platinum. How do I know it took roughly 60 attempts? I was so crazy about D8, I literally took photos of the results screen after every attempt and entered the section and total times into a spreadsheet and logged all that data. Hashtag, data is beautiful. I think one of the reasons Akina is so difficult and not so enjoyable for me is how isolated each of the main corners and features are from each other. There's usually a long, somewhat uneventful straightaway between the corners, which is not good for someone who has anxiety and has problems with overthinking like me. You see, on each long straightaway before the corner, my smooth brain is like, alright, here comes the corner, it's the same footwork as usual, Wait, should I try something different? Maybe it'd be faster. Oh god, oh man, what do I do? Monkey BC! And then I gotta wait like a billion years for my shipbox Corolla to get back up to speed for the next corner. I think I'm much better as a player on courses where I don't have that time to overthink, like Tsubaki Line and Nagao. At the time, after getting Tsukuba Outbound Specialist, I thought it was time to try something harder. I knew Akina Downhill was harder. In fact, according to some of the best D8 players, Akina Downhill is like the 10th hardest course. Tsukuba Outbound is like the 23rd hardest course. That's a big jump in difficulty. I knew it would be a bit of a stretch, but I wanted to try. I mean, how hard could it be? I've stated it before in other places, but I am of the opinion that most problems can be solved with critical thinking, practice, and patience. So if the problem is, how do I get specialist, initial D is no different. I feel like all I have to do is just put in the hours, and I will eventually get it. This whole concept of practice makes better isn't news to anyone, but I think people, including myself, tend to forget this principle way too often. Whether it be learning a new language, getting stronger by lifting weights, or even a silly video game like Initial D, practice and you will get better. The struggling along the way is just part of that process. Don't get me wrong, it is difficult, and it can be demoralizing when you try for so long without getting the results you want. I have no problem with admitting it is very tempting to give in to those thoughts of, you know, maybe I can't do this. Maybe this is my limit. Especially after playing the same damn course for so long. Just as an aside, this exact thing is something I see quite often in the Initial D Online community. Things like, I can't do it, I'll never get it, I give up. Seeing many talented players, some much better than me, stop short before they reach their goals is a little heartbreaking. I often think, they're so close, they just need a tiny bit more and they'll totally have it. I don't mean to come across as more disciplined or better or whatever. I mean, I'm the one who spent 30 hours playing one level of a video game. Who's the real loser here? It's just hard for me personally to accept this self-imposed notion of I can't improve. As I continue to play Akina Downhill, 
I realize more and more that I don't just want Specialist. I need to get this Specialist. Not because it really matters in the grand scheme of things, but I need to prove to myself that yes, all it takes to improve is practice and patience. If I can persevere through this, there's no reason why I can't persevere and improve towards achievement in the other areas of my life, be it personal or professional. Nothing is really ever guaranteed, but I really do think that as long as we keep at it, stay positive, and never give up, we will improve and maybe actually reach our goals. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.